Hi guys, welcome back to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. This is an important episode because finally, after months and months of listening, testing, I can communicate, I can finally share with you my great find. One of the most incredible preamplifiers I have ever tried. Just, just out of this world. Want to know what it is? Want to know its details? Let's get to it. Okay, guys, I don't want to hide my enthusiasm because here we're dealing with an amazing, incredible object. I actually mentioned this in a few episodes ago. I did a review of another very important preamplifier, the Shindo Masseto. Here is a link. You're also going to find all the links in the video description where I discussed, I presented, I loved the Shindo preamplifier by Shindo Laboratories, by Ken Shindo, one of his last creations. That was an incredible tube preamp. Today, we're taking a look at another tube preamp, which I want to say right from the start is the best preamplifier I've ever tried, period. Yep, it's that good. I'm sure there are dozens out there even better. The preamplifier I'm presenting, the Spectro by Master Sound, is actually a model of 2014, so it's not even something new. They, are, they also have currently a, a new version of Spectro, and uh, I will tell you afterwards what is the main difference. But apart from that, uh, they are they still have the same concept the same type of preamplifier which i'm sure is better i spoke with the people with the guys of, of uh, master sound and they explained me what are the differences so i'm pretty sure that i am dealing with something very close and apart from that i mean i just fell in love and it's amazing because uh, this is a preamplifier that was going for that now retails more than 10,000 euro. I mean, it's very, very expensive. And also back in 2014, it was very, very expensive. I managed to find it. And in the used market, it goes around six, 7,000. I managed to find it at 2,000. I was so lucky. Unbelievable. Really unbelievable. And I wasn't even aware of, uh, of the characteristics of this preamplifier. It just seemed what I was looking for in that period of time. A tube preamp of high quality. And I hit the jackpot. In fact, I am so thrilled by this product since I also was able to compare it to, I mean, a, a, a giant in preamplification, which is the Shindo Maceto. And as I said, I'd like more the master sound. I also said this to the, to them, to, to uh, Antonio Ferro, uh, the, the CEO of master sound, and he, he was very, very pleased. Well, I bet. I mean, if when you have a, a Shindo Maceto as a contender, you, you must be absolutely proud of yourself. Okay, so apart from all this enthusiasm, afterwards I'll give you a little more of the characteristics and a better take on the sound. But first, I want to give you an overview of the different physical characteristics of the baby. Are you ready? Let's start. Okay, guys. So here we are with our PHL7, also known as Spectro. Here we, you can see you can, uh, the main parts in the front and a little bit of the top. Afterwards, we're going to do a zenith uh, shot so we can understand a little bit better how it's constructed, how it's built, and also behind. Okay, so as you can see, very simple. We have two large knobs here, one to select the inputs. We have five inputs. One is dedicated to uh, phono cartridges, and then classic, all, all, obviously, line inputs. You can use it for whatever you want, but there's something special behind after we'll take a look. Here we have the logo, the name, and here 
a nice volume knob, which has the right resistance. To turn on the baby, as you can see, it says power here. And there's also a little LED that turns on. Here below, there's a switch. You just have to click that. And that's it. Let's take a look now to the rear. Here is the rear of the preamp. Let's go quickly to the different features. Here we have the IEC inlet with the fuse. You can change the fuse if you want. Serial number. As you can see, it says dual drive system stereo preamplifier. We'll talk about that after. And here, as you can see, you have two outputs, which is already something very special. Now, the new version, which I was talking about before, has a balanced output also. But I contacted and I, I spoke with them at Master Sound, and they told me that it's not a true balance output. It's just because people have their cables, their old cables, very high quality balanced cables, and they want to use it. So that's why they did that. Here is an image of the new version uh, in the rear, the rear of the new version. In any case, apart from that, it's very similar. The good thing, as you can see, very high quality RCA uh, single-ended inputs, connectors, uh, very sturdy. I love this type. I love this kind. And as you can see, you have two outputs, which is something very rare to find, but very useful. Th this combination can also be used for an excellent result. I haven't tried, but you can connect, for example, to amplifiers. I'm, I'm sure they had that in mind. Because a lot of times, maybe you have a, a single-ended triad, maybe you have a solid state, and you want to use this for both. Very cool. As you can see, we have an, also a tape loop. This is a fixed volume output. It says rec to record. In fact, here it says tape on this other side. This is if you want to record on tape. And as you know, for me, it is very important. Yes, I do. And obviously the other inputs, nothing different, nothing special. With also the phono input right here together with the ground. And that's it. I can say a few words on the feet. Uh, I don't know exactly the composition, but I'm not very impressed. Kind of ugly, kind of normal. In fact, I have my uh, preamp on the isoacoustic Zazen 2. If you haven't, if you don't know what that is, I did a dedicated video along with other damping boards. Here is a link. Okay, so apart from all this, now let's take a look on the top. Okay, guys, so as you have already seen from the prior images, this is a true work of art. I mean, you have these walnut wood insertions, this black metal with this satin chrome metal with all the different details. I mean, it's something very, very special, almost like a, a futuristic industrial type of, of a preamp. Fantastic. And this same style, even though this is old, as I said, is present in their current lineup. So they haven't abandoned this type of style, which I think is just fabulous. Okay, I unscrewed the upper plate because it's very simple. You just have to unscrew the six um, Allen key uh, bolts and you can access the uh, fantastic tubes and you can get a glance also of the upper part of the electronics. So let's take a look. Voila. As you can see, extremely heavy, beautifully built. Okay, so as you can see, very, very clean. Even though it does have a few years on its shoulders, it's in perfect condition. So here we have for the preamplification of the line inputs, we have one, two, three, four, five ECC82 tubes. Afterwards, I'll tell you the different experiments I did for the different sound. Plus, you have two ECC83 for the phono. This is just for the phono. And that's it. Okay, so now that you have a better idea of what we are talking about, let's try to take a look. Here are the main specs of this baby. What are the main characteristics, or at least the ones that are more relevant in my opinion. Well, first of all, this dual drive system, which uh, features two parallel preamplifiers per channel, meaning there are four drives there, okay? And this halves 
the output impedance. So it's mu it's much more easy to um, to drive the signal, and at that point to drive the amplifiers, the power amplifiers coming afterwards. And in fact, I have it's not just a, a marketing gimmick. I mean, the 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 way this preamp controls pilots amplifiers is truly amazing like for example the shindo you have to pair it a lot of people in fact uh if we're talking about the shindo think that a shindo preamp has to drive a shindo amp that could be true absolutely i'm sure there's a good synergy but with the with the different types i have found the different amplifiers i would i've been using mainly solid state there's also something special coming up so i can't reveal it in any case top top notch stuff also the past labs also two or three other models which i'm going to talk in future videos high high quality and the sound changed a lot instead the master sound i would say was always consistent plus another thing before i forget which was rather um well not shocking but it really gra gra grabbed my uh, attention is that the uh the board where the circuits are and all the, the discrete components are soldered all of the different um we could say uh, paths of the board are made of solid gold so it can't rust and there's an excellent type of transmission of the signal uh, once again maybe this is just stuff for marketing i don't think so it's not even present in the in the manual you find this out and about in, in some reviews and some descriptions and i do think that this the combination of very high quality uh components their transformers because master sound is very famous for their for their homemade transformers we can say that's the magical recipe that's the magical ingredient they do at, at their uh in their home i forgot to say something fundamental of master sound master sound is an italian company regardless apart from the name which is clearly not italian they are in arcugnano in the north of italy so uh, i'm very proud also to present that but as you know i i'm not a, a national guy nationalistic guy i don't care about that i mean i'm i'm glad i'm very proud but that it ends there i mean if a product it's good it's good if it's bad it's bad and in this case it is very good okay so these are the main aspects that i find uh very interesting in the the creation of this model now uh they told me that the main differences with the new model because you may find a few used units like me i've seen them at the prices i said the main differences is that uh as i said before in the presentation of the physical aspects you have this input outputs with xlr cables if you want plus inside they greatly redesigned we could say i don't know in detail but they redesigned the system making it much more silent much more stable also because this is one of the main downsides practically i would say the only downside of the baby here uh which is you have to pay attention when you turn it on when you turn it off once again this regards the old model my model 2014 in the new model i sure i'm pretty sure because that's the main difference they they've taken care of this it does it does have some problems it may have some peaks and in fact my amp goes in protection or there is a, a loud click if you don't follow the right the, the right procedure for example i turn on the preamp i wait a few seconds a minute or so and then i turn on the amp otherwise there's a a, a, a click a loud click and it sometimes, as I said, it goes and makes my, my amp go in protection. So that's something. Well, maybe that's something that happened along the life of the preamp. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's something inherent. But in any case, once you know how to, to, to take that under control, how to uh, somehow handle that, it's all okay. I forgot one thing. Wait. Yes, the remote control. 
that's a big plus on the Shindo. I'm sorry, guys. I'm old. I'm lazy. I want to control my preamp with something remote, okay? Very nice. Very elegant. I put this piece of protection plastic, but it's all made of wood. I think it's walnut, like the unit. It just has volume, up and down. That's it. Very, very sleek. Very, very nice and easy to position. So that's another big plus for me. Okay, so uh, I want to be honest. I haven't tried the phono input because another thing I didn't say, but you've seen it in the specs. It's an MM. It's a moving magnet type of input. In fact, the best thing to do is clearly to associate a quality step up transformer, which I am currently awaiting. So I don't know, but I mean, considering what this baby has done is doing with a line signal, line level signal. Wow. I can only imagine, but I'll, I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you further info. I'll probably going to add this information in the video description in a few months or in the comments. I'll pin it and compare it to the, my, my master phono preamp that I have now, the audio flight with which I am in deeply in love. Okay. So that's going to be an interesting comparison. But apart from that, we're talking about normal line level signals and the spectro, which for those of you who don't know, spectro means ghost in Italian. There is a great impact on sound. It's incredible, really. It's incredible how a preamplifier can change sound. And someone could say reasonably, it changes it. Ah, maybe it's just better to have an active speaker or uh, an output uh, with, with a volume knob from my DAC or whatever I'm using. That could be, that could be. But try, I mean, really, get a quality preamp and it's, it's just part of the chain. Uh, just to give you an idea, a lot of positive comments came out in my last videos on the test um, vinyl LPs that I use for my auditions and reviews. In those videos, take a look, for example, at the one of my LP, the most recent. A lot of people were very, very enthusiastic about the sound quality, which clearly is coming also from the, the cartridge and the phono preamp. But the, 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 the change was mainly coming from the phono, from the, the master sound because the quality, I was taking the signal directly and sending it to the camera. The quality, it was, it was immediate, comprehensible to everyone. Look at the comments in that video and you'll see how many people were saying it's incredible. And I was just sending it to the camera preamp converter and it was all compressed from Google, YouTube. So you can imagine what, what, what it is the real sound at that point. Okay, so I want to, uh, before diving in the, the, the sound, the impressions on that, my take, I just want to spend a few words on the tubes, the valves that I tried. The unit came with a fresh set for the line level signal of EC seat 82 by JJ Electronic. And obviously, as you can imagine, uh, I was very pleased by the sound, but I said, I want to try to put something a little more fancy, a little more powerful, well, not powerful, but just of higher quality. And as you can imagine, I went for Mullard. I tried to put five high quality Mullard preamp valves, tubes. And as you know, I think you know, these are among the best of the best in the world period. Then I went back to the JJ and then I also tried it currently inside. And what you heard in the video of the LP are the golden lion Genelix. And I want to say here, incredibly, this is more a comment on tubes, probably, I don't know, or the efficiency of the Spectro PHL7. 
is that it sounds better with the new tubes. And that was kind of shocking for me. I have a tube tester, which I will show you in the following video. So I know that the mullards were perfect, great condition, no question on that. And the sound was very nice, but it was a little relaxed. Instead, ooh, baby. Now this preamp is fast, okay? Let's start, start talking about the sound. The, the preamp is very fast. It's dynamic. It's just really, really a muscle type of sound, but a muscle type of sound, not in a rude or, or I don't know, unpolite way, in an euphonic, pleasing way. I mean, where, where you're just being transported in the flow and the energy that it's coming through your speakers, thanks to this, who are piloting the uh, the amplifier, the power amplifier. And with these new old stock, I mean, these, uh, sorry, the mullard is new old stock, okay? Not used. These were new, newly produced, currently produced. And I must say that between two, the, these two, you know, even though I still have these inside, the JJ Electro Electronic were just better the Czech Republic uh, tubes. Wow. I mean, for a fraction of the price, you have the best of the best. I don't know why. I'm going to put back the mullard and try to convince myself, but I already know I've done this test twice. The JJ are just very, very good. So I want to say a little parenthesis here, a little message. Don't, let's not, not always go to the, the classic dogma where you have, to buy new old stock of the old school because otherwise it's going to sound like crap. Not always, I guess. Not always. In other cases, yes. I did try, like, for example, in the Shindo, I had to go with the Telefunken. And it was spectacular with the Telefunkens, the PCL86. In this case, no. The new ones, nice and potent, nice and... I don't know, aggressive almost, but once again, not in an unpleasant manner. It was just the way to go. Fantastic. In fact, if I have to compare the sound of this and the Shindo, they are very similar, very similar from the point of view of, of the, the, the fastness, the dynamics, the enthusiasm that it, that it creates in who is listening, really. But... Every time, and I wanted the Shindo to be the best because the Shindo is a Shindo. In the end, the master sound, when I put it back, I clicked back everything, I just said no. I'm sorry, it's just better. It's just a, 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 several miles better. Not just a bit, a big bit. I mean, really, really moving, really engaging, fantastic. Uh, loud, big sound stage, as I said, dynamic, refined. Everything was just more in position and to focus. I loved it very, very much. So, if you have the chance and you're out shopping for a tube preamp, maybe even a, a used type like this, which goes for very, very, uh, well, very, very, let's say a medium type of cost compared to its original price, that's for sure, you should audition this or the new one. The new one is probably even better. Okay, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, this review, even though, as you see, I, I do strange reviews of something that is not even more, we could call it vintage at this point, even though it's just of 2014. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're going to try these suggestions. Please leave your comments on other tube preamplifiers. I am very interested and also the audience. What else can I say? Thank you again for watching. And remember that music is more analog. Well guys, if you're enjoying my videos and you're enjoying my channel, please consider to subscribe by clicking the black and white logo here below. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode and you will become a true member of the analog community.